This week in lab, you'll be using dissecting microscopes. Dissecting microscopes are used for low power magnification when we're looking at things such as parts of insects or small insects, parts of plants, and other small organisms. We have two different types of microscopes in the laboratory. We have an older version, an Olympus microscope, and all of our microscopes will, will be covered with a plastic cover, which you can remove, but that's to keep dust out because these are very expensive pieces of equipment. This microscope, the older version, does not have an internal light source. So you'll have to use an external light source, but it works just fine in the microscopes. The lenses are just as good as the ones that we have for the newer microscopes. You just turn on the light source like this, and you adjust it as need be onto your sample. So this is the second type of microscope that we have in lab. And again, there will be a plastic cover, which you will replace when you are complete, completely finished with the microscope. This is a US micro microscope. When you pick it up, you'll be taking it out of a cabinet. You need to pick it up by the back. This is called the arm. And this is the base. You always use two hands to pick up your microscope. You put one hand under the base and one hand along the arm, carry it to your bench top, and gently place it on the bench top. Notice that there's a cord wrapped around the arm. You'll remove the cord and plug in the microscope such that you are close to a plug and that you, the plug is in a safe position so that you're not going to trip over it uh, while you're working in the lab. First, I'd like to talk a little bit about the parts of the microscope. As I said, this is the base, which contains the stage where you put your specimen. This is the arm, which is what you hold on to, and the arm is what holds the main part of the microscope. This is a binocular microscope. These two lenses right here are called ocular lenses, and this is where you look through onto your specimen. At the back, you have two knobs. These are the coarse adjustment knobs. Notice that when I turn the knobs, the microscope goes up or down. So this is how you focus. In addition, you have a magnification knob. And you'll notice that the magnification goes from 0 0.8. And if you turn it, it goes all the way to 5x. 5x is the highest magnification that you can get using the magnification dial. But with the 10x objective lens, you have a total magnification of 50x. Notice that on the stage, there is a glass plate. And you want to be very careful when you're moving the microscope. You don't want to tip the microscope sideways, because the glass plate could fall out if this little screw in the front is not tight. And sometimes they get loose, and so you don't want to tip the microscope, or you might break that glass slide. Once you've taken a look at the microscope and you've seen um, all the parts, you need to turn on the light source. The light source is at the back. There's a green switch. Flip on the light source. You then have two other switches, which adjust light from below or light from above, which shines directly on your specimen. And these light sources can be adjusted depending on um, the light needed for your particular specimen. So, this switch is for the upper light source, and the other switch is for the lower light source. Again, adjust them as needed. Place your specimen onto the stage. And you also have an additional adjustment knob. There's a ring which allows you to increase or decrease the intensity of increase or decrease the intensity of the light. It's a little uh, ring that goes, dials back and forth. OK, once you've adjusted the light while looking through the binocular lenses, you then need to adjust the binocular lenses, because both of your eyes might see things differently. These are your ocular lenses on the microscope. And I just want you to notice that this lens is a 10x lens. And if you look right here, it's actually marked on the lens what the magnification is. And that's true for all microscopes. You'll always have 
the magnification marked on the lens so that you know what you're using. When you're ready to look at your sample, you'll want to adjust these diopter rings on the ocular lenses for your own eyes. Notice that there are a set of hash marks that are numbered on the ocular lens. This is called the diopter ring. Notice there's also a line on the casing of the lens. What you'll want to do is to look through the microscope with one eye and close the other eye and adjust just the right side lens by lining up the zero point on the diopter ring with the line on the casing of the lens. Then use your course adjustment to adjust that lens and make sure that it's in focus. Once you have your sample in focus, you're going to adjust the other, you're going to close the first eye, open your other eye, and look through the second lens. And this time, you're going to gently adjust this until it's at a point where this ocular lens is in focus. But don't adjust the course adjustment. Your adjustments will be made with the diopter ring. Now that you've adjusted both eyes, you're ready to start looking at your specimen. And you want to start with the lowest magnification, which in this case is 0.8 or um, 8x, because you have a 10x objective lens. And you want to start with the lowest power because you want the largest field of view. And it's going to be easier to find your specimen in that case. So once you've got your binocular lenses adjusted, You've got it on your lowest power. Then you can, again, begin to focus with the course adjustment knob and examine your specimen. Again, don't be afraid when you need to to increase the magnification if necessary once you've found the specimen you, you want to look at. And don't be afraid to adjust the light source either with the intensity dial or by turning on or off the light below or the light from above. When you are finished, Remove your sample, and if for any reason the glass plate is dirty, wipe it off with a Kim wipe. Turn off all the lights. Adjust the microscope to a low position. You do not want to put it away with the course adjustment in a higher position. Adjust it so that it's in a low position. Unplug the microscope and wind the plug around the microscope just the way you found it. You sort of wrap it around the course adjustment knobs, just like this, and then take the plug and thread it between these two knobs here. That'll hold it down. Put the cover back on to prevent it from getting dusty and replace it in the cabinet exactly where you found it. Again, one hand on the arm of the microscope, one hand on the base of the microscope, replace it in the cabinet and you're all finished.